Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So now this Yukon 65 quart cooler, cooler is battle tested. I took it on a hunting trip recently and I had it out there for five, six days out there. And it did yield the ice on the fifth day. It actually yielded the ice on the sixth day because that's actually when I cleaned it. I cleaned it on my sixth day and it still had a quarter of a five pound bag of ice in there. So let's dive right into 65 quart Yukon cooler. Now on the 65 quart Yukon cooler here, it comes with a 24 inch ruler on top, which is nice. So when I catch my 20 inch, 24 inch, not a 30 inch, cause I won't be able to measure on there, but obviously it's gonna flop right over. 30 inches are very rare for me, but 20 or 24, here are some of the lakes um, all day. Now I do have a, a cup holder here and I have a cup holder here. Now what I appreciate about this cup holder design, it, it, ha it, leaves, an, it leaves an angle right here on the side where it has a handle. So I could place a, a type of cup in there or type of beverage in there that has a handle in there without it being flush or cockeyed on the actual cooler. So that was a nice little feature right there. Now the other thing that's really cool about this cooler that I see compared to the other coolers that I've seen in the market was this was only about $300 compared to $400 per $500 for a 65 quart cooler. Now that I know they have coolers for $1,000 and I'm like, I'm not buying a cooler for $1,000, but for $300, $320, I'm all in, especially if it's going to yield ice for four to five days. Now I did not do a sacrificial ice on this. I did not do one at all. I want to see exactly how well this was built just by throwing a five pound bag of ice in there. Now we have our T-lock handles here and right there. And as you can see, let's get a close up here. As it, if this T-lock ever breaks, all you need is a Phillips and order it online and put your new T-lock on there. Let's open her up. Now on this Yukon 65 cool cooler right here, it does have my rubber seal right here. And it also comes with the tray. Now the other coolers I took a look at that are 65 quarts don't even come with the tray. Actually, I think almost every single one of them didn't come with the tray other than the Yukon. Now, the individual did say at Shields that I can order the tray for any of the coolers I wanted or I could purchase the trays that they have there and they do fit because they're universal. But why am I gonna spend an extra 30, 40, 50 bucks for a storage tray when I could just buy it with the cooler for $300? Now on this 65 quart cooler, I also have my divider right here. Now it did not come with a divider, but if I ever need a divider, I could just purchase it and I could put a three pound bag of ice in there, two pound bag of ice in there and put my other con put my other uh, storage food in there. Now what, the, what I had in here was I had a lot of meat in here and then I had a lot of fruits and veggies. Now, the only thing with this tray is, is because I was moving around a lot. As you're hunting, you're in one spot, you're in two spots, you're in three spots, you're constantly moving spots to find a herd. Um, as my hunt trip, there was probably 40, 50 hunters on the same ridges in the next five mile, 10 mile radius. And the herds would move around. I stayed in my spot for two, three days, but I would move around as well to try to catch up with the herds. And then finally what I decided was to just to move to different locations and problem was solved. So right here on this Yukon cooler, I also have a drain plug. And this is the only reason why I purchased it was because of the drain plug. Now drain plug is attached to, I believe this is a aluminum or a steel, a steel, I'm not too sure. So on the drain plug right here, it has a little has a little hole right there. So when on my third day, I started realizing I had a little bit of water in there. See on other coolers, you'll get water in there and they don't have a drain plug. You're just scooping it out. And I'm like, no, no I'm not doing that. I'm just, I just want a drain plug. I'm gonna tilt it up a little bit. And I had it just like so, just like that. I had it just like that and I let it drain out out of this little hole right there. So it went through the, it went through the rivets right there, it came out and a couple minutes the water was out and I was like right on then I closed up I sealed it as you can see here I already have dents and I already have scratches in it because it is battle tested now 
It's also cool as I have two handles here. If my handles ever break, if I need to replace them, I order the handles and there you go, see? Push one in, push one out. So I was like, okay, that's easy and self-explanatory to change out. I don't want a complicated cooler where it's gonna just take a bunch of time. Now, this is also my bottle openers right here. This is the only cooler that I found that actually had a bottle opener attached to it and built in with it without having to buy any extra stuff on it. For $300, fabulous. One bottle opener there, one bottle opener here. Let's go ahead and close this up. All right, let's close this bad boy up. The rubber tees are made good quality. There we go. I like playing with that, really nice. Now let's flip it upside down. On the bottom of this cooler, it has four rubber stoppers right here, four rubber mounts. Now it also, when I put this in the back of my pickup truck, it's not rolling around side to side all over the pickup truck like other coolers that have wheels. So it's it locks in place and it stays exactly where I need to stay in the back of my pickup truck. Now again, I'm not doing Dukes of Hazard in my pickup truck where it's gonna slide all around. I just drive normal driving conditions. On the other thing of this cooler, you can take a look here at where they fill it. This is where they fill it with the foam right here. Um, that's what that's for. If you ever want questions why there's two little black dots right there. And it's pretty easy to move. You just pick it up with one handle here. And there we go, boys and girls. That was the other reason why I purchased this cooler. Because I'm out in the field by myself a lot. And when you're on the field by yourself a lot and you're doing your camping, you're doing your fishing, you're, you're with your family or whatever, Sometimes you don't have the access of asking somebody, hey, can you grab can you grab my 100 pound cooler? Can you help me grab my 100 pound cooler? No, you're out there in the field by yourself. And since you're out there by the field by yourself, you need something that's gonna move with you. You need to so you can take it to your so you can take it to your campsite. So you're not there picking it up and struggling to get that out to the campsite. And that was the other reason why I purchased this cooler. All right, guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this video now. Now, this Yukon 65 core cooler was a buy for me compared to the other coolers that are out there. There was the Arctic and there was the Yetis. And the Arctic was about $50 more and the Yeti was about 100 to $150 more for the exact same cooler, but it didn't come with all the features. Now, the other reason I choose this cooler over the other one wasn't because of all the extra amenities and features that this cooler had was the wheels sold it and obviously the tray that came inside sold it and the, the beer bottle openers sold it as well. But it was that the fact that it held the ice for four to five days. On the sixth day, I still had a quarter of a five pound bag of ice in here. And then I cleaned it out. So after I battle tested, field tested it, I gave my review on this. And now I'm fully set on Yukon Outfitters products and great job for making a good product at a reasonable price in America. Appreciate it. Guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Ice fishing season is right around the corner guys, so I'll be out there. Thank you.